The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. When this Ray Wershing field goal secured a season opening victory for the San Francisco 49ers in 1980, it was the opening act of a story of dominance that would weave its way through the 1980s. Along the way, no team has claimed more divisional titles. It's been a decade of drama and thrills. The 49ers burst into the national consciousness on a January afternoon in 1982 with this Joe Montana to Dwight Clark touchdown pass against Dallas. It is simply known as the catch. No other team in the 80s has won three Super Bowl titles. That first title came against Cincinnati in Super Bowl 16. The 49ers, coming off their first winning season in five years, showed that they were a team of destiny with a 26-20 victory. The talk of a dynasty would have to wait. For the 1980s, more wins than any other franchise. The second world title featured a brazen display of the 49ers' awesome offense. Montana and Roger Craig accounted for four touchdowns in a 38-16 romp over Miami. No team in the 80s with more yardage. A 49er dynasty was decreed in Super Bowl 23. The game was decided on the final drive in the final seconds, just the way Montana and company liked it. No team has scored as many points in the 80s. And the three biggest guns in the 49er arsenal are on hand tonight. Joe Montana, the quarterback of the 1980s. Roger Craig, the high-stepping heart of the running attack. And Jerry Rice, the game-breaking wide receiver. Tonight, they meet the talent-laden New Orleans defense as the resurgent Saints look for their fourth consecutive victory. It's the New Orleans Saints and the San Francisco 49ers on ABC's Monday Night Football. Football's coming on tonight, Ty. Are you ready for the football? A Monday night party. Hey, there's a rock and band up for hey, Ready to get the good time started. You gotta hit them, gotta dock them, get the play all right. All my rowdy friends are here for Monday night. We're very fortunate in pro football to have the fan support of so many, literally millions of people across the United States. And I think of NFL charities as being a means for the member clubs to give back to the community, give back to the fans. Founded in 1973, NFL Charities has enabled the NFL owners to collectively make grants of over $8 million to worthy national organizations. In reality, NFL Charities has opened the door for other sports to follow their example. And as a result, we're getting more contributions from them. We've been able to educate many, many youngsters who might otherwise not have had an opportunity to go to college. The support that the Vince Lombardi Cancer Research Center receives from the National Football League and its owners is vital. I think it's one of the outstanding accomplishments of our league. Uh, one of the things that makes me proud to be associated with the National Football League is NFL Charities. Candlestick Park in San Francisco on a beautiful Northern California evening. Big game in the NFC's Western Division. The New Orleans Saints and the San Francisco 49ers. And welcome everybody to the final game of a wild NFL weekend. We could have more of the same tonight. The New Orleans Saints come in tonight desperately needing a win to stay close to the San Francisco 49ers in this NFC divisional uh, Western Division. And, of course, the San Francisco 49ers off to a great start. They are 7-1 on this season, but the Saints are coming in with a red-hot quarterback. Bobby Bear and a defense is gradually emerging as one of the finest in the NFL. They are on a bit of a roll, but the 49ers, well, you've already seen they have been on a roll throughout the entire decade, and they continue. They know if they win tonight, they will stay tied with the Giants for the NFL's best record, and they will have a three-game lead over the Rams in their division. 
They have been doing it not with mirrors, but as you watch this football team perform now, you realize that they're doing it without a lot of key people. They've had Ronnie Lott out of the lineup. Joe Montana's been out of it. And a lot of other key players that you think would uh, at least uh, lose one along the line somewhere. It's amazing, Frank. They just haven't missed a beat. Walsh leaves after 10 years, the last eight spectacular seasons. Seifert comes in. They go through a lot of really uh, difficult situations this year with Montana missing two of the last three games. Ronnie Lott has missed five consecutive games. Each is back in the lineup tonight. Now they have another problem. Michael Carter is out. They have to wonder about Keena Turner. He is hurt as well. But still, through it all, they are 7-1. and one. And not only that, they are 6-0 and oh on the road. That means of the final eight games of the season, six are here at Candlestick Park, including the next four in a row. So the 49ers try to go to 8-1 and one tonight, and Dan, the New Orleans Saints try to go to 5-4. and four. They were 1-4. and four. They won three in a row. But tonight's game, obviously, a very vital game for the Saints. Really, Al. You know, they were out of it there at 1-4. and four. Nobody gave them a chance. And now, miraculously, the Saints have battled their way back into it. And they got a lot of help over the weekend. I think if Jim Moore could have drawn up a script, the teams that lost would have lost. I mean, you're looking at the Eagles and the Bears and the Rams and the Redskins. A lot of the teams that the Saints are competing with for wild card positioning all lost. Now it's time for the Saints to help themselves, and can they do it? They're playing the world champions. They're playing on the road. What do you need to win on the road against the world champions? You need a tremendous defense. And take my word for it, the Saints have that. The number one team in the NFL against the rushing, and against the rush, rather. And uh, to beat the 49ers, to beat them here at Candlestick, they'll need it all and more. <laughs> Some people see shaving as something you do for three minutes a day. At Braun, we see it as something you do for a lifetime. And we think you should make the best of it. The Braun Shaver, with its three shaving positions. Designed for those who choose to make a virtue out of necessity. Braun, the world's number one selling foil shaver. looking for a few good men with a medal to be Marines. Strong character. The product of Lohenbrau for over 600 years. So when it came time to brew a great light beer, one with a strong character, no effort was spared. Introducing the one light beer with a strong character. 98 calorie, Lerm Brown Light. Ever since my brother Tom got this Magnavox 52 inch big screen TV, the, the show's gonna start. Come on. He stopped going to the movies. The picture is huge, sharp, and brighter than any ordinary TV. And I get great seats. Plus, Magnavox has a 100 watt JBL sound system. It's, a, it's the same Dolby surround sound you hear at the movies. Yeah, and I don't have to stand in line in the rain anymore. Tom, it doesn't always rain when you go to the movies. Not anymore. Magnavox. Smart choice. Very smart. On Monday Night Football, the play that shocked me to death was I was shooting about last night in Grant Park, and we ran over after the shooting to get into the stadium. They were playing, the Bears were playing Green Bay Packers. The play I remember, and play everyone remembers, is, is you know, William Perry scoring a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown! Uh, William Perry fights the football. It still makes me giggle when I think about it. Over the last three weeks, the Saints have not only done it with great defense in their three-game winning streak, but with Bear as hot as he's been in his career, Hilliard and Buford Jordan are the running backs. Jordan spells Craig Hayward. Martin and Hill are the wideouts, and Brenner is the tight end. And there are the guys up front, the veteran Stan Brock, number 67, the right tackle. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. They split Jordan to the right, give it to Hilliard, their main man, and Hilliard takes it out to the 29-yard line, a pickup of six. The linebacker, Michael Walter, number 99, Again, minus Michael Carter. Holt, Pete Kugler spells Carter at nose tackle and Kevin Fagan. And then the linebackers, Haley can line up up or down. He's the pass rush specialist. Millen released by the Raiders earlier this season. And the revamped secondary, minus Fuller, minus McHire, who is now second string. But Lott has come back at free safety. 
On the left side with Bear leading the Saints to the line at the 34-yard line. On first and ten, Bobby's first pass of the game is knocked down at the line of scrimmage by the big hand of Haley. Charles Haley, number 94, the sack specialist, batting that one down. Very high percentage with their offensive scheme. Out of the shotgun, third and a long three. The Niners nearly jump, and in fact, contact is made, and all kinds of flags are thrown. Four, in fact. First and ten. Take the Hilliard, and look out! Would you say that Holt made up for that last penalty? <laughs> There's Holt right here, and just this is nothing more than honoring your responsibilities. Everything goes away. The right guard pulls away. The right tackle pulls away. They're faking a trap, but Pierce Holt is buying none of that. He's going to go upfield. Boy. Hey, Bear stepping up. And then throwing complete to the 45-yard line to Brett Perriman, and he stopped at the 46. And so after two first downs, the Niners hold the Saints. New Orleans forced to kick. Wright and Pollard in on the last tackle. 11 minutes to play in a scoreless opening quarter. Tommy Barnhart to kick. That number on the left, the average, is not very good, but it's very deceiving. A lot of his kicks have been from near the 50-yard line. He's angled them out of bounds, or they've dropped dead inside the 20. He's been doing a fine job, all things considered. And Barnhart's kick this time is a decent one. A fair catch is called for and made at the 21-yard line by John Taylor and the 49ers, and Joe Montana will take over there. 10.31 to go in the first quarter in San Francisco. And the 49ers with a first and 10 at the 22-yard line with Roger Craig going in motion. Montana, a short drop. The pass is caught by Taylor. And a first down out at the 35-yard line. And you'd never know that Seifert's the coach. That's the same way they might open up with Bill Walsh and did many times over 10 years. Please. Craig and Rathman are the running backs. Taylor and Rice, the great wide receivers, and Brent Jones, the tight end. The offensive line, they've had some problems up front, but they're getting better and better. You'll see Tausch a lot at guard. From time to time, a tackle. From the 35-yard line, Roger Craig out to the 40-yard line. It has not been a vintage season thus far for Craig, and some of the problems have to do with the adjustments on the offensive line. But he is starting to get it in gear. Saints, who have been terrific over the last three weeks. Wilkes, the longtime defensive end, has moved to nose tackle. Flanked by Warren and Gethers. Ricky Jackson, Mills, Johnson, and Swilling has been on a tear lately. Massey Cook, Atkins, and Dave Waymer, the free safety, was a teammate of Montana's at Notre Dame in the late 70s. From the 35-yard line, Montana throwing for a first down and more as Taylor goes out of bounds at the St. 46-yard line. Barring anything unforeseen, they would go out and run all 15 of them. Crossing pattern underneath, very high percentage, safe pass to John Taylor, who in the first game, when Montana threw three touchdown passes, Taylor had two of them. Rice for Pat Swerve. Rathman in motion, second and eight. A little toss to Roger Craig. He has room, oh. but it closes in a hurry. <laughs> Vaughn Johnson smacking him at the 39-yard line. 25-pounder, he too can hit. Third down and four. From the 39-yard line, Montana protected well. Throws, hits Rathman, and a first down. And love to go to Rathman as a receiver. That's his 38th catch of the year for the fullback out of Nebraska. First down, 49ers. Guard the run totally and go for Montana in the pass. Second and eight from the 32-yard line. Montana, that short drop, and then a little slant to Rice. Rice inside the 15, the 10. Touchdown, Jerry Rice. Oh, he's magic. Not bad either. <laughs> Pass rush of the Saints. One, two, three, drop. This is just an ordinary completion. Robert Massey lost his footing. When Jerry Rice made his break to the inside, Massey went down. And then it's like the rest of the secondary. I know they were trying quickly. Well, now it's only fifth year. Time 49er mark. Saints from the 26 yard line. A bear throwing into traffic and it's dropped at the 40 yard line and it's incomplete. Dropped by Hobie Brenner, no fumble, incomplete. Michael Walter and Chef Brooks 
Can wonderful throw that time by Bobby Abair. Michael Walters going to get in there and make the shot, but look at the touch on the ball right onto the hand. Boy, that was. Jordan goes in motion from the 26-yard line, and they give it to Hilliard. Big hole, and he exploits it. Gets out past the 40 and spins his way out to the 45-yard line where Darryl Pollard makes the tackle. A 19-yard pickup for Dalton Hilliard. First and 10, New Orleans. 49ers on top, 7-0. Five and a half minutes to play in the opening period. And this time he picks up about four. Michael Walker and Matt Milton and Ronnie Lott also entering the picture. And in fact, uh, entering the picture a bit too late, according to Jim Tunney. Maybe wanting a taste for combat and for contact. But this is drastically late. Now watch this. Hilliard is now down. And there comes Ronnie Lott, helmet first. And uh, that's going to draw a flag in any game on any field. I mean, they're, they're sizing a guy up and just putting a hat right on him. A blatant, blatant cheap shot by Ronnie Lotto. A classy player making an unclassy move. Three-yard line. Four-man rush. Hebert under pressure, gets it away, coming back to make the catch is Lonzel Hill. First down at the 14-yard line, tackled by Pollard. Stepson. As this ball comes out of here real slow, and it's really a pop-up. And Hill is the guy that's able to make the correction. Pollard reacts to it way too late, and New Orleans getting a decent drive when they need it. Saints on the move after a 49er touchdown drive. Abair protected well this time, throws, and the catch is made at the six by Hobie Brenner, who gets taken down by Matt Millen at the six-yard line. It'll be second down and two, and a perfect throw by Ebert. Let's go. Hilliard on second and two picks up the first down. It'll be first and goal at the three-yard line. Line. Jordan takes it to the one-yard line. Craig Hayward this week missed practice time because of a personal problem had to go back to Pittsburgh Jordan's been bothered by a hamstring but he'll practice days this week 10th play of the drive coming up second and goal Jordan and Hilliard in the backfield it's Hilliard looking for room cuts inside and is over for the touchdown behind Jim Dombrowski comes across the line of scrimmage look at Dombrowski number 72 he's going to get out in front See him kick lot to the outside. It's read by Hilliard, and he jumps back to the inside. A great measure of a team's mental toughness. Seven. 49ers trying to go up by three in the West, and the Saints trying to make it close in the West. Rice goes in motion. Montana, five-step drop, then throws wide open is Roger Craig, and Craig almost to the first down marker, not quite. It'll be second and one. Cook and Johnson in on the tackle. Pound pulling guard. Ronnie has to say, hey, wait a minute. This was not in the job description. Give me another few weeks. <laughs> Second and inches, and they don't get those inches. And Roger Craig gets spun back to the 21 by Frank Warren. There's Steve Sidwell, their defensive coordinator. It's tough to lose when you give up less than 100 yards rushing. Third down and four. Montana on his first roll of the night. Lost one. It's caught by Raffman. He breaks the tackle, takes it to the 41-yard line as the quarter will come to an end. Raffman on third and four makes the catch out to the 41 his second reception of the night that takes us to the 15 minute mark he was not even thinking about stepping out of bounds Tom Raffin he loves to play this game he's out a couple hours early he just turns it north and south for Tom Raffin back after this message and a word from our ABC station it's the Miller Lite All-Star Super Bowl game and the teams are assembling. We're agile, mobile, and hostile. There's Coach Sanka. Who you got on your team? Wow, Randy White. Tastes great. Dwight Clark. He's got hands like glue. <laughs> Quarterback Bert Jones. Hi, Mom. And fleet footed Joe Washington. <laughs> Joe Greco? They're pulling out all the stops. Well. We are playing for a whole case of Miller Lite. The lights, let's spill it. Hey, Street, let's spill it! Guys, this is big. There's Super Bowl tickets in that case. I've never been to the Super Bowl. Where's the case now, coach? 
in protective custody. In every case of Miller Lite, you'll find the less filling beer that really tastes great. And maybe a free trip to the Super Bowl, too. Who's their coach? A guy that knows a thing or two about getting his hands on beer. Don't worry, men. I'm bringing in a secret weapon. Who is it? It's a secret. Coach, we got to get that case. Even when all of Company B heads for the phone, it's no problem for Gail Godfrey. Delta Airlines, Gail Godfrey. Y'all heard of Lubbock, Texas? Yes, that is confirmed. I got some friends who want to talk to you now. Just hold on a second. Thank you. Cincinnati, Ohio. New York City. Monroe, Louisiana. Albuquerque, New Mexico. San Jose, California. Portland, Oregon. Here, Montana. You're all set. Thank you for calling, Delta. Bye-bye. Hi, Gail. Did you get many calls this afternoon? One. Delta, we love to fly and it shows. So I'm running late. I had to call Phoenix, so I'm using this other long-distance company. I dialed the wrong number. I got this guy in Fiji. What? Is this Phoenix? No, you reached Fiji. I dialed again. Fiji again. What are you kidding? So I called the operator for credit. She said I'd have to talk to customer billing. I said, AT&T operators gave me instant credit. She said, you are not dealing with AT&T. Well, I am now. People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. Aren't you glad you never left? The race for the Rose Bowl is on as Michigan battles Illinois or Southern Cal meets Arizona in a Pac-10 showdown for ABC's College Football Saturday. And at the 41-yard line, Joe Montana had a perfect first quarter. Saints nearly jumped, but there is no flag. And then the catch is made out of the 45-yard line by John Taylor. They're wider to the left. And Montana stepping up. Firing, catches made at the 43-yard line by the tight end, Brent Jones. He takes it to the 37, tackled by Sam Mills, a first down. Yeah. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Montana throwing wide open is Rathman, and Rathman is taken down at the 31-yard line after a pickup of about six. Gene Atkins, the safety, makes the tackle. Craig naturally is going to draw primary attention. He takes a deep downfield. You bring Rathman right behind him. You almost guarantee he's really bothering him, huh? Yeah. Second and four. Here's Rathman, a first down, taking it to the 26-yard line. And five against Cleveland, and then 17 the following week against Green Bay. A little problem at the inception of that play, but no problem at the end for Rathman taking it to the 16-yard line. He is stopped by Dave Waymer. Look at this. Half the line is one way. Half the line is the other. Roger Craig is going to his right. Tom Rathman somehow gets the ball from Joe Montana. And if it's not for Dave Waymer, he may have scored. <laughs> Second and one from the 16-yard line. Fake to Rathman, and he fires inside the five-yard line to Jerry Rice. It'll be first and goal. Just taking about a five-step quick drop. Rice reads it right away, steps to the inside, finds that seam, and is wide open, and Montana threads the needle. Flip back set, first and goal from the two-yard line. They send Rice in motion. Montana on a roll. Montana throws. Touchdown. Jerry Rice again. When you watch the 49ers, you realize that maybe it's not as complicated a game as some people might think. Jerry Rice came in motion across the backfield. Brett Maxey is going to try to come all the way across, number 39. Antonio Gibson was there, but not his man. But look at Maxey. How'd you like to be Brett Maxey? You got to chase this guy all the way across the field and try to keep him from making just a couple of yards and a touchdown. Not going to happen. Whether it's two yards, 20, or 80, this guy's going to score. Hebert lining up in the shotgun. Play clock down to five seconds. Down to three seconds. And he just gets it off on a low snap. And on third and six, open over the middle is Brenner. And he has a first down as he takes it out to the 45-yard line, and he is tackled there by Pollard and Griffin. Perfect tonight, Bear is four of eight for 42 yards. First and 10, New Orleans at the same 45-yard line. Hilliard behind Jordan, into 49 of territory, a nine-yard gain. He's tackled by Walter, who's a little shaken up on the play, but Michael gets up. Hilliard gets that one, and about Four more, taking it to the 41-yard line. Pierce Holt makes the tackle. And that angle was not to, not to be. Away he went. And in true Raider fashion, both of them around the left side. 
On second and 10, Hill makes the catch. Hill running parallel along the 25-yard line and is dropped there finally by Michael Walter, a first down from just inside the 22-yard line. Just a three-man rush, and the pass is lost in and broken up in the end zone by Eric Wright, number 21, intended for Brett Perriman. Problems ever since, but watch this coverage. Snip it out if you want to teach how to go man-on-man -man coverage. Eric Wright, see how he plays the ball? How many times have we watched the game where a cornerback ends up playing only the receiver? Look at Eric Wright play the ball. He feels where his man is, but at the same time has the presence of mind to go back and play the ball. Martin Anderson, a 39-yard attempt, and after he had slumped through the first four games this year, he has now hit nine of his last ten. He's perfect from 39. The Saints come up with three, 425 to go in the half, and the 49ers lead by four at Candlestick. 33-yard line, first and ten. Jones, the tight end in motion. Montana, who's 11 for 11, and this time incomplete. Unable to hold on is Brent Jones. So the uh, the record for most consecutive completions in the game, 20. Brent Jones back in 1982. It's an interesting option, though. Joe Montana's been doing a lot of completing lately, too. Yeah, gives Montana an extra pass. And he throws this one a little swing out to Rathman. And Rathman gets about half the distance needed for that first down as Vaughn Johnson bumps him out of bounds out near the 33-yard uh, line. Team 10, San Francisco. Montana with time throws, and it's almost picked off. And Wilson had to become a defensive back when Toy Cook stepped in front of him and nearly picked it off remains in his role at New Orleans with Paul Tagliabue, the new commissioner, and in fact Paul is here tonight watching this one, and it's a good one. Late in the first half, Craig Hayward is in the game for the first time. He stays in the block, and Bears throw out to the 45-yard line, and Dalton Hilliard makes the catch there. Bear pump fake, then he throws, and it's underneath, and not enough, I don't think, for the first down. Hayward stretching and reaching, and maybe with that second effort, but we'll see. Michael Walter wraps well, him up. Nope, they're not going to mark it even close. First and ten for San Francisco. All of their timeouts remaining, Roger Craig. Cuts it back and takes it out to the 21-yard line, and he is stopped there by Frank Warren. And, of course, this is a situation that Montana has been in so many times in his career. Second and four from the 21. Over the middle. Catch is made by Craig after the 30-yard line. And a first down. Bad at using the clock, was he? Mm -hmm. Little throw out to Craig. And Toy Cook makes the tackle. I think the key to all this, though, is quite simple. There's still a great deal of work to be done, and there's still lots of ways to help. Flag is down on second and four, and Montana just throws it away, and there isn't a red shirt within 15 yards. Work is still left to be done here in the Bay Area, and uh, me. And the 49ers very much helping to, to brighten the days as they have the, the populace throughout this decade. Leading here by four, and the pass is broken up, intended for Taylor. So far, we've also seen some outstanding examples of coverage in the secondary. And this is going to be one of them by Milton Mack. See, look at that left arm, how he digs it in there. That's the kind of contact that you can still get away with as long as it's not blatant. And he, that's good defense, Frank. I think you assume there were two on Rice. Second and ten. And the pass is caught by Rice. Rice sprints into St. Territory. Has a first down at the 45-yard line. Clock ticking down to 50 seconds now. 49ers have a pair of timeouts remaining. First and ten. Taylor on a slant in. Breaks two tackles inside the 20. Inside the 10. Taylor in for the touchdown. think there's anyone in the league right now capable of turning a little one into a big one like John Taylor great return man Jerry Rice shaking up on that play 
being assisted off the field, but John Taylor took the little simple down and in and just a play, I guess. <laughs> Take a look at it again. Again, he ties up with Milton Mack. And Montana just simple little completion over the middle, and then he does all the rest. Watch how he drags Waymer though into the end zone, but watch how he lays out with the ball. Boy, to get oh, we were blocked oh just at the last minute. But he protected it too to make sure it wouldn't be stripped, knowing that Waymer would try to strip the ball. Here he is again with that great broken field runner, of course, an excellent punt return man. And watch him cover the football right here. He knows Waymer's going to try to strip it and just reaches out and gets the six. Lays it right out across the goal line. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good look at it, guys. The rest of it. Meanwhile, as it turned out, it didn't even matter what New Orleans did on fourth and inches. They punted, and they still watched the 49ers march it down. 85 yards instead of 50. Now, those, those are awesome numbers, aren't they? Guess they should have gone for it. <laughs> yeah. Saints have allowed only five touchdown passes of 20-plus yards this season. They bear in the Saints. They have all of their timeouts left. Not that it matters at 21 seconds. But Bobby is going to throw over the middle, and the catch is made by Hilliard, and the Saints will take a timeout. The thing is with Morton, third and two. Bear throws. Hilliard makes the catch to the 49-yard line, and they will take a timeout with four seconds. So they're not no, I, no, no, I've got to go with the maze and blue. Answer. Final play of the half if we don't have a penalty, and it ends with Bear being slung down at the 49-yard line by Bill Romanowski, leading New Orleans by a score of 21 to 10. And ABC's Monday Night Football returns after a commercial, a message from the National Football League and a word from our ABC station. Oh. Spirit of competition from MCI. Proof that commitment to excellence brings out the best. I like my bottom line. I hate wasting time. I like my MCI. I get more. more. I like my MCI. Did you It was truly a great honor to be chosen as the most valuable player in Super Bowl 23. Hey, it's Jerry Rice! But I have come to know that there are a lot of people who are the most valuable players in their community. Here in San Francisco and in every city in the nation, there is a critical need for professional daycare services. And here at the Holy Family Daycare Center, these kids are getting the love and the care they need. And for all of you who give to the United Way, you are the MVPs the most valuable people in San Francisco. <laughs> Out there are the people who give to the United Way because they care. They are the real MVPs. So from this MVP and his family, to all of you, I want to say thanks. The United Way, it brings out the best in all of us. This message furnished by the National Football League. <laughs> This Wednesday's an original. Ben, what are these little black things in my pancakes? Growing things. The ones without legs are raisinets. Then, Earth to Arvid. Pleasure to meet you. Four, three. Head of the class. Then, do I lift in your gown? Doogie Hauser, MD. I'm a doctor. Scott on. And anything but love with L.A. Law's Corbin Burnson. Did we just have a power surge? I know I did. Growing things. Head of the class. Doogie Hauser, MD. And anything but love. What a Wednesday. Division rivals meet for the Cincinnati Bengals tackle the Houston Oilers. Oh, my ratty friends are here on Monday night. Next week on ABC Sports. 11-point lead, and Joe Montana at the helm taking over at that spot. Joe in the first half, 16 out of 19 for 223 yards, three touchdowns, and there it is for the season now. 
his completion percentage is an incredible 70.1 percent and we goes in motion Craig takes the toss can't turn the corner and he gets buried back of the line of scrimmage Robert Massey that is so good only three interceptions is, is, is excellent second and 12 and Montana is able to uh, cover it himself back at the 12-yard line. We'll be back to the locker room, but he's all right. Back in the lineup right now on third and 13. Montana, flag is thrown. Pass is high and is dropped at the 26 by Brent Jones. And Ron Harris, the rookie. This is a short, wobbly kick fielded by Harris at the 45-yard line. Harris gets inside the 40, cuts back to the outside and takes it to the 30, and indeed they have good field position. First and 10, New Orleans from the 30-yard line. A Bear fires it out to Hilliard, and Dalton has it down to the 25 yard line. It will be second down and four. Chet Brooks. Third and a short four. Martin in motion. A Bear pump fakes toward Martin. Then throws, and inside the 10-yard line, Hobie Brenner reaches for it and makes the play inside of Matt Millen. Jordan stays in the block. Bear under pressure, and that one's not even close. Intended for the rookie, Floyd Turner. Well, credit that one to the pass rush. On 4K holds for Martin Anderson, a 24-yard attempt. He's already made one from 39. And this one is perfect. And that draws New Orleans to within eight. So it's 10-10 to go in the third quarter at Candlestick Park. It's 21 to 13, 49. And I think starting with at the 30, they wanted more than a field goal. Financial serenity, the confidence to spread your wings. The Travelers gives 40 million Americans financial peace of mind with a broad horizon of growth opportunities and the overriding promise of insurance protection. The Travelers, you're better off under the umbrella. Second and 15, and Montana, who is 0 for 2 in this half. Has to escape some pressure from Mills and then throws and the catch is made at the 33 but dropped and fumbled out of bounds at the 39 yard line by Taylor. Oh and now they're ruling incomplete saying he didn't have control of it. Difficult. Make that call on the field. But yeah. again does he have possession? Gets hit there There's by the Weimer. There's the right. Now, again, we're going to have to see something that is so conclusive that they can overturn. All right, let's look. There's the left. There's the right, mm -hmm. and he still has yeah, the ball. Yeah, yeah. By, a, by a fraction of a second, when the right foot hit the ground, when the right foot hit the ground, down and 15 from the 15-yard line. And Montana fires, and it is incomplete out at the 30-yard line. Gene Atkins busting the play up. There's a flag down. Position once again, but they've got to get that ball into the end zone. You sense a little uneasiness with the crowd here at Candlestick. Helton's kick is a line drive. Endo Verender fielded at the 40-yard line by Harris. And again, a good run back, putting the ball into 49, ter uh, 49 of territory to the 41-yard line. 49ers rush four. Bear throws into traffic, batted and incomplete. Intended for Martin and batted away by Tim McKayer. And what a roller coaster year he has had. Decade. They're one win away from accomplishing that. And of course, they won three Super Bowls during the decade. And here is Roger Craig out past the 20, the 25, and a first down as Roger Craig takes it to the 29 yard line. I and think it, the, uh, Al, I think the three rings might have more uh, importance attached to them than that one loss record of the entire decade. I, I'd take miss the playoffs since the strike year of 1982. From the 29 yard line, it's Craig out to the 
34, Vaughn Johnson, number 53. Is Ricky Jackson, his counterpart on the other side. Don't think I've called his name once. Third and five from the 34-yard line. Montana to Rackman, wide open over the middle, and out to the 49-yard line, and a first down. I mean, a subpar year for Roger Craig is brilliant for a lot of people. Frank Warren. Craig in motion, second down and three, and Tom Rathman fights his way to the 41-yard line as a marker down. He is of some type. Holding of some type is the call. 13 after the penalty. Rice comes in motion. Montana freezing the defense with the fake and throwing for Rice. The catch is made at the 33-yard line and a first down. Jerry Rice, he, he had an idea of what kind of talent he was. Mississippi Valley State. Mm -hmm. Archie Cooley. Gun slam. The whole crowd. Here's Rathman making the catch. And Rathman stretching out and taking it to the 24-yard line. And that stretch pulls them to within a yard of a first down as Sam Mills makes the tackle times in a row. Third and one. Craig to the outside, and they've done it 12 times in a row. Toy Cook. I mean, think about it. Third and one. And Steve's computer is having a meltdown now. Yeah, right. <laughs> if 11, if, if 11 out of 11 was uh, half a million to one, what is 12 out of 12, Steve? Teams make third and one 70% of the time. There it is, the theoretical odds, 537,626 to one. Yeah, but that's old news. So you've got to redo that now. Meanwhile, here's a 44-yard field goal attempt by Cooper. And the kick is good. Good by plenty. Uh, a solid drive by the 49ers. After flopping around on the first two possessions of half number two, they come out with a real solid drive that ends up with three points. 111 to go in the third. And the Niners are back up on top by E. O. Levin. At the 31-yard line. The Saints down by 11. Start this drive with Bear retreating under heavy pressure and thrown down back at the 19-yard line by Pierce Holt. Sit over in the left side, Holt and Haley. That's the end of the third quarter. 24-13 San Francisco. Back we come after this from our ABC State. the man of her dreams. I never felt like this before. A man she would live and die for. I'm your woman, boo. Could he be a man she'd kill for? Farrah Fawcett, John Shea, Ryan O'Neill, Small Sacrifices, Sunday. IBM presents You Make the Call. A Bobby A. Bear pass is intercepted by Michael Carter of the 49ers, who takes it from the five-yard line into his own end zone, where he is trapped by the Saints. Now you make the call. Whose ball is it and where? Every 500 years or so, an exceptional printer comes along. Introducing the IBM laser printer with a revolutionary design that will make it the new standard for years to come. The IBM laser printer. Suddenly, nothing else measures up. In redefining the laser printer, IBM made it 33% smaller with 60% fewer parts than the old standard. Could that be the reason it's also 25% faster? The IBM laser printer, suddenly nothing else measures up. What call did you make? When an interception occurs in the field of play and is carried into the end zone, the ball goes to the intercepting team at the point of the interception. I just passed Hassie McGuire's place. Corn hadn't been touched since Hank died. What do you say we help her out? Now look, Jim, we're all a little shorthanded. Yeah, I guess good help is hard to find these days. Need a lift? Going as far as the wires. Hank would have been real proud of us. Air Canada travels the world and brings back to you its international accents.
like the Swiss accent on precise timing. London's on courtesy. The warmth of Lisbon. The charm of Vienna. The next time you fly the U.S. to Canada, choose Air Canada. The international way to cross the border. The barbecue is on over at McDonald's, y'all. It's my grill time. There's grilled pork swimming in sassy sauce. A little pickle, a little onion, my grill chomp. It's like a barbecue in a bun without the bones. So grab yourself some napkins and a big cold Coke. But hurry, cause my grill's only here for a limited time. The good time, great taste <laughs> of McDonald's, my grill chomp. These two teams met in 1980 in terms of points overcome to win a game. It was the greatest comeback in NFL history. New Orleans led by 28 at halftime, but Lenville Elliott tied the game with this run in regulation. Ray Wershing won it with a field goal in overtime, and the Niners beat the Saints 38-35. to to get it to the 41 for a first down throws it underneath the catch is made by Jordan and then he is tackled out at the 39 yard line thanks their first winning season in their history of the franchise dating back to 67 in 1987 with the 12-4 record he's turned it around down there second and ten Montana to keep it and Trek is out for a first down to the 39 yard line he's stopped by Frank Warren and listen, the main man here in San Francisco now. From the 39-yard line, Craig. You know, it, it seems like almost ancient history now. You go back to 1986, and, and that was a tremendous throw. Third down and four. Pressure is on. Throw is made to Rice. And Jerry, per usual, picks up the first down, taking it to the Saints' 45-yard line, where Robert Massey makes the tackle. To tonight, the 460-plus. Craig has caught three tonight. Second and eight. Montana will keep it, and he really pays the price at the 41-yard line. Takes a double shot there. Coming at the 42-yard line. Montana firing. The catch is made at the 22-yard line by Terry Greer. Who well, had got several a... good seasons in Canada, and Terry Greer makes the catch. And we've got and a fight going back up at midfield. Pretty good one now. It's... That's Swilling right in the middle of this. Canadian Football League. Here's how that fight started. Little push on Swilling, and he reacted. That was Jesse Sapolo that came in and took a little right uppercut at Pat Swilling while he was standing there. And Al alluded to the fact that he was all alone back there. <laughs> For the night, 3.02 to be exact. First and 10 at the 15-yard line, and Roger Craig takes it inside the 10 down to the seven yard line stopped by frank warren and close second and one from the seven it's rathman he has the first down first and goal now at the four and the miners not only eating up the yardage eating up the clock as well that the man is human i can't believe it Craig. So he there. runs right into waymer and vaughn johnson as well to be third and goal and goal Taylor and Rice both set to the left side. Montana looks that way, then looks the other way, and rolls to the right. And Montana will try to run it in, and does! Touchdown! Well, what else can he do tonight? A marvelous touch with that arm. He's a good athlete. Doesn't look like he has the kind of speed, but he has the quickness that always seems to get him there. We've been watching this for 11 years. That was it. Montana tonight is thrown for three touchdowns and now run for one. Looks like he's trying to find Dwight Clark in the back of the end zone. <laughs> Discovers that Dwight has retired, so took it in himself. Don't be good about themselves. And rightfully so. They just met a very tough 49er ball club tonight. Second and ten. And a bear is taken down at the 31 yard line kevin fagan third and 14 from the 31 yard line 
And Abair throws, and the catch is made at the 46-yard line by Floyd Turner. And he has the first down as the rookie out of Northwestern Louisiana. Expected. And we wish him well. Yes, sir. Second down and five from the 45-yard line. And this is Turner who gets bumped out of bounds right at the first down mark. Don't sit in the stands. They get to sit up in a box with their family. It's nothing but first-class treatment here if you play for the 49ers. Mm -hmm. From the 40-yard line, over the middle, the catch is made by Eric Martin. And he takes it to the 33, Darrell Pollard. Second and three. A bear, catch is made. Jordan has it. And a first down to Orleans at the 26-yard line. He knew he was going to get hammered. He did. Niners nearly jump, but there's no flag. Here's Turner making the catch, avoiding two men, then three, but not a fourth as he's tackled at the nine-yard line by Chet Brooks. Nice move by Turner. They've been able to make connections. Of course, all of that because the 49ers are playing back off the ball. And first and goal, and all of a sudden it's picked off at the two-yard line by Eric Wright, and you can write a complete finish to this one. Intended for Perryman, Eric Wright makes the interception, and there goes the same drive. And the loser of that game will have to finish a full game ahead of the other team to get home field advantage. Third down and six. And this is Raffin. And uh, let's face it, the Meadowlands is not a place as the Saints will take a timeout here. Two minutes to go, first and ten to Orleans, trailing by 18. Saints from their own 35-yard line. Ebert throws, and it's picked off at the 37-yard line by Chet Brooks. Big Stan Brock may have saved the touchdown. <laughs> and the 49ers in great shape. Three-game lead in the West. Meanwhile, the uh, results of the vote... Best game performance Monday night. Earl Kimmel nudging Dick Anderson at the very end. Earl the Pearl. Tyler Rose. Eddie DiBartolo, the owner, congratulating the 49ers individually. Gentlemen, we shall reconvene in the House of Pain. Yes, in a big game for both of those teams because Cleveland leads in the AFC Central. And Houston and Cincinnati each a game behind. Look at Eddie and Joe. <laughs> and as we mentioned, the 49ers with that win, they have now clinched the title, the team of the decade, at least as far as the regular season is concerned. The best regular season record over a 10-year period and three Super Bowls to boot. Convincing one tonight, 31-13. to 13.